excited to see this. Today we're starting our special New York 101 series. Professor Seacrest and I yes. will be leading you on a number of guided field trips and showing you places around the city that you need to know about, isn't it? First, a question for our students here. What do you get when you mix flour, water, and one talk show host? Answer, you get Kelly's bread tour. And here you are. <laughs> There are over 126 million places to buy bread in New York City. No, that's not true. I, I actually don't know how many places there are, but there's a lot. B trust. This is a bread lover's paradise. This is the place to be if you want to pick up a tasty loaf. Don't believe me? Come along. Get in the car. No, I'm serious. Get in the car. And put your seatbelts on. This isn't the 50s. Levain Bakery. They're known for their incredible, incredible cookies, which are like cakes. But they're also known for their delicious bread. Let's go inside. I'm gonna go talk to Pam, who uh, owns this place. And let me tell you something. This is the smell. <laughs> I just wanna come in here and breathe your air. That's okay, you can do that. <laughs> I, I know about the cookies. I know all about the cookies, but I'm here for bread today. And Good. I'm looking for something different. I want you to think outside the box. What do you okay. think? Something I yummy. have my favorite thing, the most perfect thing in the world, are <gasps> chocolate rolls. They are to die for. <laughs> Did you take say one? Take chocolate one. Chocolate rolls? Chocolate rolls. Filled with Valrona dark chocolate. Nothing better. <laughs> Not <laughs> kidding. Oh my God. How do you eat it just like this? However you want. Just bite into it. <laughs> I'll take them all. Okay. Yes, I will thank wrap you them much. up for you. Thank you. Jim, hi. Oh, this hi. is hi, Jim Lady. Um, this is his place. Long time no see. Long time no see. I know. Um, can you tell our audience at home why you call this place the Sullivan Street Bakery, even though it's on 47th Street? Well, once upon a time, back in 1993, I signed a lease on Sullivan Street. I was there until 2004, I believe. Mm. And then I relocated here to Hell's Kitchen. I'm having some friends over for dinner later, a little dinner party. I need, like, a bread that will uh, will be good as an appetizer, uh -huh. but can also double as a table runner. Do you have thoughts? I think I have the perfect bread for you. Oh, let's do it. I love the way you carry it like a baby. Do you want me to do this? Yeah. Let me put some oil down for you over here. Yeah. Like that. Do this. Come on, yeah. do it. Try it. Yeah. Leave your imprint. Sprinkle really high like this. That way it distributes evenly. Pal italiano, no? Un pal un po', ma non molto bene. I saw some. So we accordion the dough. Stretching it out, right? Yeah. Open up the oven door. Uh, so you go all the way to the back of the oven. Yep. So in a, in a few minutes, you'll have your appetizer and your runner. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. So thoughtful. Bye, everybody. Ciao. That's, I used to live across the street from Balthazar Bakery. Uh, when I lived downtown, I ate there all the time. That place is so delicious. It's like a jewelry box of breads, if you will. All of their breads are incredible. I don't think they have a bad bread, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I wanna get that, I, I wanna get that really big bread in the window. Who doesn't love a bagel? Monsters, that's who. Who doesn't love an Essa bagel? Nobody. Everybody loves Essa bagel. Mm, look at all the varieties. Um, I'm here with Bobby. He's the chief rolling officer, and he's going to show me how to roll a bagel. And this is really mesmerizing. Bobby, hi. Hello. Yeah. Uh, you use your two hand. Okay. Okay. Just feel the dough. Feel it. Feel it. Just turn this way. Don't make too tight. Don't make too tight. Up. That's it. Don't come back. Okay. Leave it up. Set. Put it down. Put it down here. Put it down. Put it down. That's bigger. <laughs> so 
what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> That's amazing. It actually looks like a bagel. Fun fact. Essa bagel is Yiddish for eat a bagel. I did not know that. I thought Essa was like somebody's nickname. Essa bagel. Eat a bagel. So we are back right here where we started at one of the newest bakeries in town, Le Gourmand. And I am here with Munir Gibran, who is the owner of this bakery. Call me Moon. Moon, yes, I will call you Moon. Hi, hi. 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 Tell me about your gluten-free bakery and what led you to make gluten-free baked goods. For my son. My son um, had some intolerance about, uh, of gluten like six years ago, and I started making bread. Started okay. making bread, trying new recipes, looking for new recipes, and six years after, I'm here. Can we try and, some? Of course. Let's I'd do love it. to. Let's yeah. Do it. Which is your favorite? Um, I don't have a favorite, but um, why don't we try the multi grain? Yes. Okay, All let's right. try that. Let's do it. It's That's good. delicious. It's really good. Wow, this is a good day to eat some bread, isn't it? Okay. 